weeks today come to shoot a place I shot before which makes quite an interesting black and white landscape photograph it's the old uh, medieval church tower at Crook St Catherine's and with this snow on the ground and that should make uh, interesting compositions so hopefully I can get some nice pictures today in these snowy conditions see you later St. Catherine's medieval tower, all that left of the old church here at Crook, which sits along the pilgrim's path to Furness Abbey. Just taking this shot now, using a 10 stop with an all nine soft grad on to bring some detail in the sky and get some movement in the sky. Hopefully with the snow on the ground, it's gonna give me a nice contrast for a nice black and white photograph exposed over to the right to bring the whiteness out in the snow so we'll get a nice white snow rather than a drab grey and that will probably get that back in post processing about 86 seconds and hopefully I've got a really nice photograph there <laughs> Just using these rocks in the foreground to leave me as a leading line across to the tower. I'm going to put an all nine soft grad on to bring out some definition out in the sky and the clouds and hopefully give me a fine black and white photo. <laughs> St. Catherine's Church Crook The old tower at St. Catherine's Makes an excellent black and white fine art photograph, especially in these snowy conditions. Sixty seconds at f eleven. Hopefully, it's a nice picture. A little bit blowing out in the corner because the sun's coming in. Oh. That's not a problem. You can sort that out in post processing. Catherine's Tower, nice medieval 
So uh, it's built around about 1620, and all that remains of the old church that's here. It sits on the old path to Furness Abbey, and the pilgrims used to stop here overnight as the final resting stage before they went to Furness Abbey. It's a nice place, gives an interesting picture, especially in these snows, black and white conditions, again the contrast of the snow and of the uh, ground around us. Hopefully I can get an interesting photograph. I'm just taking this shot on F11 with a 10 stop on and the old 9 grad on it, using these tracks from the farmer's tractor to lead me into the tower and hopefully get the snow on the hills behind and a bit of definition into the sky see what we get when we go home <laughs> some nice clouds in the sky now which on the long exposure using the wide angle 1020 Sigma it's giving me some nice cloud effects using the using the church and hope that will turn out probably the shot of the day today nice white foreground nice contrast and some nice cloud movement in the skies it had to read in about 22 seconds of uh, exposure. I just overexposed it a little bit just to bring out the whiteness in the snow a bit more. Just pushed it over to the right on the on the histogram, and that's going to give me a really excellent black and white image when I get. <laughs> scenes in the snow here at St Catherine's Tower beautiful little place up in the Lake District excellent when it's in this sort of condition a really nice day for photography loving this old oak tree here going across Leading its way to the tower. Put the, using the 1020 again, and with the clouds in the sky coming to my coming coming my direction, it's give me an excellent fan shape cloud. Don't know if you can see that in the sky. That's going to be a lovely fan shaped cloud to match the branches of the tree. Well, thanks for viewing. As you can see, the old tower, St. Catherine's Tower at Crook, makes an excellent black and white subject when it's in the snow. If you like what you've just seen, please subscribe, and then hopefully I can produce some more excellent pictures to, to show you. Thanks very much for viewing. Goodbye.